Chapter 1 Categories of Computers and Computer Languages Children Children, you all know that we wear different type of clothes and different type of shoes for different occasions. For school, we wear school uniform and school shoes. When we go to any athletic event, we wear our sports uniform and sport shoes. When we are going for a party, we wear the party dress and matching party shoes. Also, to fit everyone, we have to get our dresses and shoes fit according to our sizes. So, the way we have different types of dresses and shoes in size, shape, occasion, similarly we have different type of computers depending upon the requirements and the people who are going to use these computers. There are many type of computers which are categorized on the basis of their size, speed, storage capacity, cost, etc. Types of computers. Computers can be classified either on the basis of their principle of operation, that means function, or on the basis of their configuration. Configuration means the size, speed of computation and calculation, and storage capacity of a computer. Let's understand classification of computers based upon these um, values. Classification based on principles of operation. So based on the principles of operation or a fundamental way of working, computers have been classified into three categories. Analog computers, digital computers and hybrid computers. Analog computers. These computers process data which is continuous and varies regularly. For example, they work on values of air pressure, temperature, voltage, speed, etc. These values are continuous in nature because at any point of time uh, they keep on changing and if there is no air pressure we will say that air pressure is zero but when we are trying to measure it there is a continuity in the values we are getting from the environment around us. Okay, so let's study this in detail. Because analog computers work on quantities or values that change continuously, the results given by them are approximate. Thus, they are said to measure the quantities and answer the questions how much of that quantity we have. For example, how much air pressure, how much temperature, how much voltage or speed. Examples of speed Analog computers are speedometers, voltmeters, weighing scales, etc. Even aircraft simulators also. Next, digital computers. A digital computer works on digital data such as numbers. They work on the binary number system where there are only two digits 0 and 1. Each one that is a 0 or a 1 is called a bit. 
these digital computers are suitable for solving complex problems in the fields of engineering and technology therefore they are widely used in design research and data processing they count the values and answer the question how much some examples yeah, yeah. of digital computers are calculators electronic computers apple mac further digital computers can be classified on the basis of their purpose that means the reason for which they are being created so based on uh, purpose digital computers are divided into two more categories that is general purpose categories or general purpose computer and special purpose computers general purpose computers can be used for any type of application they can store different programs and process data as per instructions given to them by the users on the other hand special purpose computers are computers which are built for a special purpose such as some specific scientific application now most of the computers we see today are general purpose computers moving on to the next category we have hybrid computers this type of computer combines the desirable features of analog and digital computers hybrid computer is mostly used for automatic operation of complicated physical processes and huge machines maybe in factories or manufacturing units these days analog to digital and digital to analog con converters are used for converting data into suitable form before they can be used for computation by hybrid computers so that's all for now rest of the topics we will cover in our next presentation thank you